What's up you guys? My name is Hutch, and I make videos and put them on the internet. I'm going to do a little live commentary for you today, and I'm going to tell you a story about how I cock-blocked myself. And, uh, that's, you know, that's a story. We'll get into that in a minute. But I was inspired to make this video by Optic Midnight. I was just browsing the YouTubes and stumbled on her channel and watched a video of hers called How I Friend Zoned Myself. And, uh, I, I had a very similar story. You can watch her video to, to hear her story. But uh, I'm going to tell you about my story now. What do I want to use? What the fuck with these iron sights? I don't know. What does it all mean if I'm gay? Uh, yeah, let's try the iron sights. I'm really bad with the iron sights, so I don't see this going well. I don't know. How do you talk and play video games at the same time? That doesn't make any sense. That guy's dead. Anyway, so the story. This is a story of me when I was, uh... Whoa, that's a guy right in front of me. Uh, this is a story of me when I was about 25. Um, I can say that I was like a little shy around girls at the time, but I wouldn't say that I was... I wouldn't say I was like insanely shy. Uh, like high school, I was definitely super shy around pretty much all girls. Oh god, I can't even... I don't like this. I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. Am I going to do that? I'm going to do variable. Um, in high school, I was definitely like not confident whatsoever and uh shy more or less come on man there we go oh look at this guy uh but this is when i was about 25 right so i'm working at a restaurant working at the olive garden and uh and uh there's this girl there that i am just insanely insanely attracted to and uh Like, I would have done deplorable things to get in her pants. I would have done unspeakable, horrible, fuck, horrible things. And, uh, thankfully it didn't have to get to that. But, uh, for two years straight I used to just bug her and bug her and bug her. And it's not like I was, like, pestering her, like, super creepy awkward style, because she was definitely, like, enjoying the attention. And, uh, so I wanted her to hang out with me, like, really bad. After work, it's just another one of those times, and this is after like two years of just constantly, constantly flirting. And this one time, she finally says, you know what, yeah, let's hang out. And I'm so flabbergasted at this point, really? I'm so flabbergasted at this point that I can't even like, I'm literally shaking because I'm so nervous. I mean, it, like when you build something up that much in your head, there's just, nothing can prepare you for, oh god. What is going on? It's just jumpy McGee over here. So she says yes, and uh, and I'm freaking out. And I said, well, you know what, like, and I had my own apartment at the time, but uh, I said, well, you know, like, do you want to go swimming? Because my, my folks are out of town, and they have a pool. And she says, uh, yeah, that sounds good. So we go back to we go back to this place, right? And um, or it's, we get off work, and I'm, you know, s still nervous. And come here. tell me that killed you? <gasps> it did! I am a fucking genius! So we go back to uh, we go back to my my folks' house. Wow, I sound like I'm in high school right now. And um, I say, all right, you know, like, and I'm thinking like the pool. This is such great news, man. It's like this is my end. We're gonna get some of our clothes off like right away. You know, I'm jumping like I'm skipping like three steps right there. And uh, we get in the backyard, and I said, hey, this is a pool. You know, I got some I got some trunks somewhere and a t-shirt. You could borrow, perhaps. I don't know. Play your cards right, and we'll see what happens. And, uh, and she says, oh, you know what, I just remembered I, I, got, a, I got a tattoo, and uh, I can't go in the water right away. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck, man, like, she's either rejecting me or uh, she's just making this really hard, because that was, like, like I said, that was, that was definitely my in. Um, oh, God. All right, and so I'm kind of, like, disappointed at this point at this point and I'm thinking like well you know tonight's obviously a bust and this isn't gonna work and hello oh god oh my god the moves the moves no <clears throat> um okay where am I going with the story there's a story here I'm telling a story a really humiliating story. So she says, oh, we don't have to go to in a pool. Don't your parents have a jacuzzi bathtub? To which I reply, 
Yes, they do. That's an incredible idea. And me, in my moment of extreme excitement and arousal, proposed the idea of watching a movie in this jacuzzi bath zone. By the way, mom and dad, if you're watching this, this is a long time ago. All the bacteria is probably long since been taken care of by nature. So I wouldn't stress too much about it. Oh god, he's right next to me, isn't he? I don't even know what's going on at this point. You are right there. <sighs> Can't stop the fucking streaks. <clears throat> So, um, she agrees to- oh, look at the, oh, I didn't even know you could get up on that! That's incredible! So I grab this, like, gigantic TV that I can barely lift, and, uh, I start hauling it into the bathroom, because I'm like, yeah, this is, you know, this is, this is a money situation I find myself in. This is gold. And, uh, I set it up, and I remember we watched the movie Sideways. She was a big, like, she was a big fan of wine. She was kind of a wine connoisseur herself. And I thought she would really dig this movie. It's a really funny movie, if you haven't seen it already. So I set up the TV, and everything's set, the water's drawn, I think maybe there was bubbles, maybe it was a bubble bath, I don't remember. And uh, I say, hang on, let me go get you some swimming trunks and uh, a t-shirt or something like that. And she says, what do we need those for? And takes all of her clothes off. Very casually, just right in front of me, takes all of her clothes off. And I'm freaking out. Uh, if, th if that, I think... It, I think if that happened to me today, I would probably like be like just excited and not nervous, and I'd be like, "Yeah, let's fuck, let's get in there." Uh, back then, I was not the confident, manly, bearded man you see in front of you. Hey, you know, this is almost ten years ago or something like that. <clears throat> and so uh, I I see her doing this, and I'm like, I I guess I take my clothes off too now, right? Uh, and I am not feeling good about that. I mean, I have a huge, like, uh, it's like 150% boner at this point. I could probably do, like, a full-on push-up with it. It was that, like, I'm a money pick. firm, spending too much time talking about that. I'm going to mute this guy. So I take my clothes off and I get in the bathtub with her, right? And I'm, uh, I I'm, I'm really am freaking out at this point. And this is two years of just pent-up sexual tension like really wanting her so goddamn bad but then when it's actually right in front of you and the possibility is there for something to actually happen there's so much built up tension that i i i i could almost describe it as like having a panic attack like it was it was not a pleasurable experience it was not exciting it was just nerve-wracking because she was so goddamn confident and i was not <laughs> And so, I, I mean, I, I just felt like I couldn't even compete with her in that situation. And I'm in my head at this point literally thinking to myself, does she like me? <laughs> like, what, what more needs to happen in that situation for me to, like, get the hint that maybe she might be attracted to me or interested in doing something? But I'm still in my head thinking, like, I have no idea if she likes me. Should I, like, should I try something? I don't know, guys. I was freaking out. Like it, it wasn't cool. I mean, like I said, it was a very shameful experience. I don't know what the hell I just shot out of my arm right there. We uh, we stayed in that bathtub and watched the entire movie, and I don't think that's a short movie. I think it's like a solid two-hour movie. So we're all pruny. We put like warm water in the bathtub to replace the cold one, like at least f a few times. Huh. Huh. Damn it! It's just the whole situation wasn't good, and uh, so we 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 go through the entire movie, and my fucking boner is literally like like rubbing her leg basically the entire time I'm in the bathtub, and I'm still like I still couldn't couldn't make a move. I friend zoned myself. I cock blocked myself. My own awkward, insecure, 25 year old self didn't put two and two together that maybe this girl wanted to fuck me. And I didn't, I didn't make a move the entire time. Fortunately, she kind of like took the reins afterwards. Like we, we got out of the bath and like, you know, went in the backyard and looked at the stars or something. Back and stupid. And, uh, you know, we, we ended up hanging out a few times after that and like saw each other for a little bit. So it wasn't like a total bust. The seeds were planted, even though I did an awful job. I mean, like, I don't... <laughs> I ruined things, I mean, but, but what happened was, like, she, you know, she eventually just, she was like a man-eater, man. She just chewed me up and spit me out when she was done with me. 
And uh, I had like no confidence. I had like none, no zero confidence whatsoever. And so uh, that's not that's not attractive to girls, apparently. And uh, it didn't work out in the long run. But that's my story of uh, of completely cockblocking myself. Uh, and I, now I'm interested in, in hearing if you guys have any similar stories. So I'm going to say the same thing that Ashley said. It's like if you guys have a similar story, feel free to speak up in the comments and let me know. Fucking stop! Thank you for Christ's sake. Uh, that's going to do it for my video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'm going to go. All right, bye. Ah.